Uh, me and Luke just finished off doing shoulders and abs. Luke actually did some arms too. Uh, he's been out of the gym for a few days because he's got a new job, so it kind of sucks because of the gym thing, but he's getting back into the flow of things, and are you happy with a new job? Yeah, it's quality. Quality? He's doing plumbing for those of you that are actually wondering. And we're now just in Tesco getting some because I've got food. It's weird though because I don't feel that hungry, but God, I think it's because I've had so much water during the gym. I had like a whole litre. So I'm kind of feeling it with water, but I'm kind of hungry at the same time. So I'll just show you what we get. What a white one. I'll go red today. I'm gonna go for just chicken, I think. The healthiest option. My crisps are not here. What crisps do you want? The baked walkers. Oh, yeah, you love them. Really? Cheesy. What are the. Guys, me and Luke both bought meal deals, didn't we? Yep. Yeah, three pound meal deal. I went for a very boring sandwich only because my breakfast had a hell of a lot of fat in it. So this is just chicken, no mayo. So that's probably gonna be really dry, but it's got some good stuff over as well. It's got a bag of sensations, the Thai sweet chili flavor. Uh, macros on those aren't great, 10 grams of fat, but I have got like 67 grams of fat today. So, and then as are in part of the meal deal, Got a cherry monster. Every time I try and buy one of these in there, it never scans through as a meal deal and I always have to ask for help. But I managed to get that sorted today quite easily. So yeah, uh, do you want to show what you got? I've only just remembered I didn't actually get a meal deal. He lies to us. You got chicken and tomato basil pasta. Yeah. Sugary monster. Of course. A rebel. Drinking your calories. And I got that. Yeah, for health. Naked for health. Alright, so we're just gonna eat this now. I notice that I always do that whenever I flip the camera around, I like play with my eye. <laughs> I'm weird. Yeah, because <laughs> we're now going to uh, Luke's new house because he moved yesterday. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, apparently, he's got a big garden garage where he's gonna hopefully put his gym equipment because uh, it means he's a little bit further away from the gym um, as opposed to where he used to live. So, hopefully, turn that into quite a Good little gym space, and yeah, just gonna have some food now and head that away. This is full at the moment. This is the garage that you're gonna use for the gym. Yeah, it's full at the moment, but almost everything that's in here is gonna be going in the loft. So pretty much it's gonna be everything. Yeah, so you're gonna put all the mats on the floor yeah, I'm uh, gonna in put an the ideal mirrors world. that corner. Yeah. Map the floor, I've got dumbbells, like rack stuff like that yeah but at the moment it's full of everything but yeah literally near enough everything you see will go in the loft so this will be completely empty like it was when we first got it but these i hung off of these yesterday and yeah. you can do pull-ups on them you want to do some pull-ups on it now no oh. i can't do any too weak <laughs> very nice <Wow. laughs> that's it i live in the garage yeah that'd be cool once you've changed it all out and put mats and stuff in it yeah you don't really need a whole lot to get enough of uh, a workout in. No, I want to get an Olympic bar and stuff. Yeah, got barbells, plates, dumbbells, that's really all you need. You'd be surprised how much stuff you can actually do just with uh, free weights. My garden. That, that's the field over there that we're allowed to use. Nice. That oh. over there is where rich, rich people live. <laughs> that looks like a bloody castle oh. over there. Yeah. Oh, it looks like one of the objectives you capture on a uh, Yeah. <laughs> you live in a battlefield map. <laughs> Alright, All right, guys. So, it's almost six in the evening. Um, might put the light on just for a little bit better. Yeah. Um, it's almost six in the evening. Just got back from Luke's. Driving home was kind of a bit dodgy because not only is it raining, it's really dark, um, it being six because of the daylight savings, whatever it's called. It's really dark, really early now, so it was a bit a bit worrying trying to drive home, basically through loads of kind of like country roads, um, but it wasn't that many cars, wasn't too bad, um, and I'm still alive. I got home safe, so all is good. It was really nice to see uh, Luke's family, I haven't seen him for a while, his mum and his dad. Um, yeah, just seeing his house. Um, yeah, they all seem to be happy with uh, where they're now living. Probably gonna be living there a lot longer than they did the other place. But yeah, it was just good to see the place, see how excited they are to like do the things that they want to do to it. And yeah, just see his mum and dad. So I'm now gonna go in, have some food. Uh, I need to edit and upload a video. 
some other couple of things and that'll be what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna end the video here for today and I'm gonna pick it up again tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, it's very good. Right guys, we've already done two sets of animal strength reps. Uh, training with Matt here today. We're both going for, we had a 20 and a 5, which is about 70 kg total. So, uh, I've got about two sets of six, I think both sides. Um, these are the wrist straps as well. Just for a little bit of like, additional wrist strength. Uh, that helps with going heavy, because obviously you've got a lot of weight on that one small uh, bone and muscle there. So, yeah, now it's going on to another two sets, so four total. I dropped the weight by 10 kilograms, so just a little bit. Um, and now I'm going to go for probably 8 to 10, maybe even 12 more drips. So let's see how the goes. sit with it and have the hands kind of level with their lower pec but this machine is actually primarily for the upper portion of the pec major so not only do you want to have the seat low enough to basically have the floor in line with that muscle but also by having your hips kind of shifted forward and forth and sitting on the edge of the seat you're also going to feel a little bit more on your upper chest so right now we're shooting for about three or four sets again similar to the last exercise but these are all going to be hypertrophy reps so going for about 10 to 15 um, and having the weight a little bit lower so you can really focus on uh, good stretch and weight now and weigh about three or four eccentrics. So this one's a killer, give it a go. If you don't really do slow and simple training, it's a very good way to uh, get better muscle muscle connection and just uh, overall grow whatever muscle you're training. guys we are back at it with the max tuning inspired sick angles got done editing uh, the workout footage from today which you would have just seen I want you guys to be honest with what you think of the raw clips because uh, first impressions from recording them is that you can't really hear my voice that much because the music is so loud in there and obviously it being a gym 
uh, I can't change that, I can't go and ask them to turn the music down or anything like that. But just let me know if you can actually hear my voice, because I think I did do something on iMovie that's kind of drowned out the background noise a little bit, but not a whole lot. Really, I think it's down to uh, maybe getting different editing software that would actually help me fix that, or possibly even getting a mic uh, attached to the camera, like a better mic, which I can't do with this camera, so it would mean waiting until I get uh, a new camera, like a DSLR or something like that, so yeah, just let me know what you think, kind of mixed it up a little bit today. It was nice to do like raw clips, because that's something that I said in my last uh, video and I held myself to that. I wanted to bring that to the channel and I feel like it's kind of a better way of explaining how to do certain things, whereas in a commentary I can't give a demonstration or anything like that, so yeah. Alright, it's a few hours later than the last clip that I recorded. I just want to show you guys a few things, or one most important thing, before I conclude the vlog. So, the last few hours I've been debating which uh, competition to enter, which one's best for me, which one in terms of dates and location is the best one for me to do. But I've finally decided on one, and as you can see there, your message has been sent. Thank you for filling out your form. I've just paid for a years long membership which lasts the entire um, competition year. The competition that I booked is in September the 16th so that happens to be not sure how many months but it's the 16th today of January so probably like 7 months. I think that leaves me with probably at least 3 months maybe 4 months left of bulking if I want to do a 4 month prep but yeah I've done it so there's no backing out now. The date's been set, I've actually put it in my phone and everything, so I'm going to make my training from now on even more kind of committed and serious than it already is, which to be honest usually I don't like leaving the gym uh, not feeling like I worked the muscle well enough that I should have. I'm not going to ramble on too much, I'm just I'm looking forward to it but I'm also kind of nervous. But if you want to achieve goals, and this is one of my goals, then you've got to go outside of your comfort zone and kind of make yourself do things that you don't necessarily feel comfortable doing but you know that you'll thank yourself for doing it so even if I didn't win the competition or place anywhere it would still be amazing just to challenge myself and get myself to the leanest I've ever been yeah looking forward to it so September 16th 2017 Men's physique, beginner, went for the beginner class, date set, and I'll see you guys in the next video.